Hello everybody, welcome to Don't Always. Today we are going to be looking at some Star Wars minifigures. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 minifigures. 6, 6. 6 minifigures and 1 bonus figure for you up there. Uh, uh, cameraman, go there. Yeah, there, behind that. So, let's first get into these two because... I have shown these two in some stop motions and stop, stop motions and stuff so so we don't have to really go through the whole thing. The, this is Emperor Palpatine. He has a uh, two lightsaber I mean uh, two electric city electricity pieces just clipping like that. Yeah. Same colors, transparent blue, yup yup. And he has a nice cloak thingy. I don't know what that is, maybe shit, maybe boo boo, I don't know. Kaka, yeah that's kaka. Uh, that's definitely Kaka, by the way. Yeah, and yeah, the nice uh, raw printing, nice the uh, this thing color kind of printing, nice raw printing, no back printing. That's okay. And <coughs> we just removed it. No, do not. I did not break it. He has two kind of uh, faces. A uh, normal Palpatine face, like good kind of face, or the angry all day my papa face. Yeah, dude, don't come with any lightsabers. That's it. Let's move that aside. Now we have Kylo Ren's mentor, the chosen one, aka the Lord of the Sith, Darth Vader. He comes with the lights, a uh, red lightsaber. Yippee! Shitty air bubble. Yippee! This Darth Vader is the new version which the helmet piece can be removed. Uh, why am I saying anything? Yeah, this is the new Darth Vader with the helmet piece can be removed in two parts. It can be broken in two parts. Yay! And this is the Anakin burned Anakin Skywalker face. Like in the Return of the Jedi. I really wish if there was a evil Darth Vader like in a uh, battle damage kind of like in look in the I mean the burn Anakin face it would be nice if it had the burn burn Anakin face except uh, I mean except for this shit yeah and then we have Commander Tarkin just kidding uh, Grand Moff Tarkin this minifigure first let me just tell you this this black marking here is made by me the silver lines is made by me because I customized this leg. Yeah, this is a nice torso piece, nice belt printing, all grey, all grey, nice back printing, uh, nice uh, symbol thingy, bad thingy, nice face printing. Even the kid captures that skinny Peter Cushion uh, likeness and poor Peter Cushion. He died. Pray for him for a minute. Yeah, that's about it. And he comes with a nice, uh, by the way, RIP, R.I.P, rest in peace, bro, bro, rest in peace, game off, talking, buddy, yeah, and uh, yeah, uh, this is a nice hairpiece, amazing hairpiece, I really wanted this hairpiece good, and it has uh, this kind of expression like, you may forever ready, kind of expression, and, is that, a, is that that look, kid? Yeah, this is this is a confused face. Serious, always kind of face. Yeah, two expressions. We have Kylo Ren, the fake Sith. This is the last Jedi version, by the way. First, let's take a deep look at this uh, cross guarded lightsaber. Yeah, the black hilt and stuff. Shit. Yippee! And it is has the angry expression like the ah kind of expression. Kylo Ren never gets this angry in the movie. And a nice torso printing, amazing torso printing. At least it has a back printing. That's nice. Shame on you, Lord Vader. Shame on you. Shame on you, Emperor Palpatine. Shame on you. Nice uh, Ben Solo kind of. I feel it too kind of face. Yeah, the hairpiece is a normal hairpiece by the way. Normal. Yeah. Then we have the two sons, the two bounty hunters, father and son. 
father and son. Do, 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 do. Yeah, first let's look at the father. This is the father. Oh, this is the father. Django Fett, my man, man. But still super stiff, by the way. Nice uh, leg printing. Uh, it's uh, really nice that we got leg printing. No side printing or anything. Blue arms. Yeah, I didn't notice that until now. <laughs> and now a nice uh, torso printing. And uh, underneath it, it has a weird, I mean super ugly looking clone face, angry clone face. It has a silver jet pack. Where can we move this? Simply. No back printing. Sad. By the way, I just need to say one thing. This is a helmet by the way. Nice helmet molded in silver. Nice paint job. This review finder thing just keeps on falling off. So I painted a coat of paint on it. But still, it just keeps falling off. That's really bad. And this is the first time I've got these kind of pistols. Very nice. Very, very nice. Hey, have you seen the movie Ben and Men in Black? And that movie they have a little kind of a ta memory racing thing. It can be this, okay? It can be. It is similar to this. This thing. Not a pistol. If you hold it like this, it is similar to it. Just remember. I think I am wrong, but still, just remember. I am going to let it down in the comment section below. Nice uh, Django Fetch. Terrible view finder. I mean, range finder attachment. Boba Fett. This Boba Fett has a custom custom uh, molded Boba Fett blaster. This hasn't been seen in the uh, movies, I mean in the Lego production. Lego hasn't produced a blaster like this. This is totally custom. I paid 23 bucks for this one. I mean 23 dollars. Yeah. It came with no weapon. I was super sad about that. By the way, this Orange shoulder pads I paid. Shoulder pads I paid. And this silver in in and I mean in inside this silver circle, these two dots and this straight line I painted. These things and these things I painted. All the black bits on he, the silver parts is that I painted. Yeah, yeah. And this is the nice uh, 23. I mean I don't know how much it is. I just don't remember anymore. <laughs> I still said it in a moment before, but still I don't remember. Yeah, nice uh, Boba Fett minifigure. Uh, yeah, the weapon can be holded, but like this, that's sad because the Boba Fett isn't gonna uh, shoot, shoot like this. Pichu, pichu, pichu. Yeah, now it's a uh, Boba Fett uh, torso, I mean leg printing, nice. Nice leg printing, even the scratches and stuff. Nice uh, helmet printing, the view range finder is also very useful awesome, on this one. You have a uh, signature dent. Uh, nice uh, head printing. At least we get a normal, I mean, nice one. If we move, move this and the, this is the cloth cape key. And as you can see, there is no back printing, sadly. Yeah, I mean, let me just put on this thing. And so... Uh, that's... Like so... Like so. And we are gonna show... The last bonus minifier, okay? The whole cut minifier showcase is done. Bonus minifier. Ba 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 ba! Tu 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 It is yellow jacket, yes! A Marvel minifier. It is a bonus minifier, so I get to choose what the hell I want to show. Bonus minifier. These are all Star Wars minifiers. And a Marvel minifier. That's weird, but still, I get to think. This is a blaster attached here, by the way. The stud blaster, you know how they work. Pichiku. Pichiku. And yeah, the backpack build is amazing. This is articulated. Yeah, if you want to arrange the guns in whatever shitty way you want. I mean, whatever amazing way you want, you can do that. But I just want to arrange them like so. So they will fire right to the enemy. By the way, this is an amazing... Helmet piece. I really, really love this thing. Wow. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. So amazing helmet piece. I just love this helmet piece, okay? An amazing gunmetal gray, gray printing and yellow dots, yellow jacket detail. And, and, and by the way, he has a double-sided face. Only the Lego one has this kind of serious face. 
But this one has an kind of oh, we'll get him for sure, or an evil smile kind of face. And yeah, if we just remove this shit for a little bit, we can see this crap. I mean, the back printing. <laughs> The back printing is nice. It's just this whole of the whole this thing folded up and stocked in this piece of shit. Okay, I mean piece of small gunmetal gray backpack. All this thing is stocked. Uh, is uh, you know like uh, shifted and stuff. It is stored here. And it, when he wants to do it, he just like I want to do it. Oh, then every part just pops out in the movie yeah like in the movies this is an uh, amazing uh, yellow jacket minifigure i really love it and but this is a tip for you guys okay this is a tip who le tip for lego fans who love lego stud shooters do not i mean do not put studs which came in from the stud shooter do not put such shooter stud, stud shooters in the stud Shooter. I mean, do not put studs in the shot to sh stud shooter unless you want them to get fired. Because when you are playing or thinking doing anything like this, it will accidentally fire and you will lose the stud. Stud. So I don't do it actually. Yeah. So that's it for my video. Subscribe and like the video and peace.